Tonight, the University of Maryland School of Medicine wants to find out if a popular drug could prevent coronavirus, even if you come in contact with someone who has tested positive. Our team coverage continues now with Alvin Joy Burnett, who's live outside the medical school. She has more on what drug researchers are considering and how it may help. Alvin Joy. Well, Blake, we've been hearing a lot about this drug lately, hydroxychloroquine. Well, now University of Maryland School of Medicine officials are saying they're looking into this drug to see if it could be used as a possible preventative method rather than a cure for COVID-19. Researchers at the University of Maryland School of Medicine are in the early phases of a study to find out if hydroxychloroquine could work to prevent coronavirus from infecting the body. I think we need to find out if this is a potential beneficial role of hydroxychloroquine in COVID. Dr. Miriam Laufer, professor at the School of Medicine, said this study is different because it looks at how the popular anti-malaria drug could prevent the spread of the virus rather than treating it after the fact. The key participants will be people who either live or work with someone who tested positive. So what will this medication do if it works? One is it may work to prevent infection in the household members. The other possibility is it may be treating the infection very, very early on so that the infection goes away without causing any disease. Dr. Laufer says the institution is one of six across the country in the study. It will be remote, so participants will speak with doctors over the phone or via teleconference. Then meds will be delivered. Participants will either take hydroxychloroquine or placebo for 14 days, then researchers will study the effects. With no vaccine ready for the public, experts are pushing to find scientifically vetted options to prevent the virus from spreading. I am with everybody else in the world who is who is so eager to find a treatment for this terrible disease and and in particular a way for us to not have to live in social isolation for so long now, officials are saying hydroxychloroquine should only be used as part of a clinical trial or under medical supervision. That's something that came out from the FDA earlier today, saying that if that's not the case, there could be dire circumstances. Of course, the study here at the University of Maryland School of Medicine falls under that criteria. Live at 5, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.